We're here. This should be... Huh? Where's the crab? Did it secretly scuttle away? Huh. The traps weren't triggered. So it should still be here. It's odd. You honored our agreement and waited here until we returned. As such, I'll hold up my end and give you another mechanical part. Keep it safe. I'm not giving you another one if you lose it. Glad you're satisfied. If you want more mechanical parts, take us deeper into the contaminated region. I want to see what happened there. What caused the Avidya forest to become like this? contaminated region that everyone's been talking about. Oh, it definitely looks different from normal. It's like, really creepy and suffocating. Do you feel unwell at all? Good. It's as I predicted. Elemental power confers a degree of resistance against the contaminated region's influence. How do you know that? I haven't entered the contaminated region for a proper investigation, but I've conducted quite a few controlled experiments. My observations during our time here have all but confirmed my hypothesis. Look at these flowers. How are they different from normal? This flower species is formally known as the Sumeru Rose, but it is also known as the Ley Line Lodestar. They're sensitive to ley lines and emit varying amounts of light in response. Excessive brightness indicates a dangerous level of ley line activity in the surrounding area. From the looks of things, the ley lines around here are already out of control. You're saying the contamination here is coming from ley lines? I can't confirm that right now, but I think that is the case. Let's take another look around and see if we can discover more clues. This contaminated region currently appears to have a critical efflux of ley line energy, which is probably the root cause of the patient's cognitive disturbances. Some animals have keen awareness. They sensed something abnormal in this area and fled. Leaky ley lines sure can cause a lot of damage, huh? Like how plants have preferred growth conditions, we also gradually habituate to our surrounding environment. Climate, temperature, humidity, intensity of ley line energies. When people live under fixed conditions, they reach a sort of homeostasis with their environment. This equilibrium is broken when the surrounding environment abruptly changes, causing people's bodies to react in abnormal ways. If normal fluctuations in temperature occur, then our bodies automatically adjust. However, the average person cannot adapt to changes in ley line energy, and so they fall ill. Then why are we okay? I'm not sure why you are, but she and I are fine because our elemental capabilities allow us to adapt to this kind of change. Of course, it's not a good idea to spend too much time in areas with concentrated ley line energy. The only one who can freely traverse this place is probably the mechanical crab. That's about it for the investigation. Help me find an open space. I want to test something.
Environment, no wind. Target parameters, normal. Setup complete. Excellent. Looks like it's working. What's this? A purification device that I made. It can absorb excess ley line energy and temporarily stabilize an area. What a neat thing! Let's set up more and cover the entire region! I wouldn't mind if that would actually work. Unfortunately, once this contamination is present, it isn't something that a few purification devices can fix. The purification devices have their limits. At best, they can only prevent the contaminated region from expanding temporarily. If we want to permanently eradicate the contamination from the ley line effluence, we'll need to tackle the source. That's right. Huh? The mechanical crab is acting a little strange! Something's approaching. So that's it! Now that the ley line energy has stabilized, the monsters that had left are starting to return. Get rid of them quickly! Don't let them get close to the purification device! I will have order! Injuries are superficial. Don't move, I'll patch you up. Who are you all? What happened to those mechanical monsters? Don't worry, we took care of them. Oh, good. <laughs> That's uh, good. Uh, it's a monster! Uh, hurry, attack it! How do we explain this? Uh, Krabby here isn't a bad guy. It heard you shouting for help and brought us here to rescue you. It's faking it. It has to be! Maybe it's gonna partner up with the other mechanical monsters and kill me! Do you know what's inside the forest? It's all... It's, it's all crawling with mechanical freaks! I just came here to pick herbs, but I accidentally went to the contaminated region and almost died. Hmm. I gotta get out of here. Ah, oh, yes. Yes. I have to escape. Be careful. These mechanical life forms are up to no good. It'd be best if you stayed far, far away from them. Ugh, no wonder the Academia wanted to completely ban the existence of mechanical life forms. Ugh, those things should be annihilated! Uh, are you okay? 
His inarticulate speech and bodily tremors indicate psyche disruption. He's been inside the contaminated region for too long. We've purified the ley line energy over there. Follow this path out and you'll soon see the village. At that point, someone will bring him to Kale for help. I already prepared medication that will return him to normal. Hmm. So you think you did a good job and want a part as your reward? It's so hard to understand. All right, regardless of what you're thinking, you did some real good this time. That's why I'll give you another mechanical part. Need any help with it? Guess not. Well, make sure to hang on to it. <sighs> what was going through your owner's mind when he made you, I wonder? You're like a giant mechanical crab on the outside and a fluffy little hamster on the inside. And also, how do you feel about that person saying that you're as evil as the other mechanical life forms? Okay, it definitely doesn't understand you. It seems like it possesses limited understanding only towards matters related to mechanical components. Help others to get parts. That's probably its thought process. As for why it, or rather its owner, is collecting so many components, I'm not sure. It's getting late. So let's set up camp for the night. We'll explore further tomorrow, after a night's rest. Hey, over here! Come on, you big lummox, raise your head and look up! Let's set up camp here. All right, Paimon also thinks it's a good spot. Oh, any particular reason? This place is perfect to put up a big tent. We can also set up a cooking pot and cook tons of delicious food. You're not wrong, but the primary reason for choosing this place is because its higher elevation keeps us away from the water vapor below. Rainforests are very wet. You should always be careful when spending the night in damp places. For the next tasks at hand, let's divide and conquer. I'll set up the tent, you'll be in charge of making the fire, and Paimon will forage for edibles nearby. Leave it to Paimon! Paimon's a pro! I'm not expecting that much. Just do what you can. That's right! You can use rushes to start a fire in the wilderness. Their pits are relatively dry and can be readily set aflame. The downside is that they produce a lot of smoke. Mushrooms, but Paimon didn't know which ones were edible. Paimon also saw wild berries on the ground, and Paimon was gonna fly over and pick them up, but the dead leaves on top suddenly started moving. It freaked Paimon out. Those were probably dead leaf butterflies. They camouflage as dead leaves to evade predators. My guess is that they mistook you for a bird when you flew over, so they fled. Little did they know that you were more scared than they were. Never mind. The tent's up, so you two go rest. I'll forage for food. Oh, you found some already. Hyman understands it this time! It wants mechanical parts again! Sorry, no part this time. That task wasn't important enough. If every little thing resulted in a reward, then it might start to take advantage of the system. 
I'll note little things like this and give a cumulative reward at a later time. Ahem, <clears throat> that is one reason. It looks really sad. <sighs> After some further thought, it might come up with some weird misunderstanding if I don't give it something. All right, here's another for you. I'm off to prepare dinner. We'll take shifts on lookout duty tonight. You two can sleep first. I'll wake you up later. We need lookouts? Yes. Even though most animals fled because of the ley lines, we can't completely let down our guard. It's settled then. I'll set up some pest repelling devices so poisonous insects don't come crawling into the tent. Have a good night. Not too good, though. outside like this. <laughs> this feels like when we just started adventuring together. <sighs> Nighty night. Hmm? You're awake earlier than I expected. Did you sleep well? That's good. I was worried that you two wouldn't be able to sleep, so I specially used two of my homemade incenses. Don't worry. They're made from all natural ingredients. They have a light fragrance and aren't harmful to the body. Speaking of which, have you seen the crab? It was scampering around over there just now, but I don't know where it went. So you can tell. My suspicion is less towards the crab and more directed to its unrevealed owner. A ley line effluence of this magnitude occurred without any warning. Someone probably disrupted the natural flow of the ley lines. Until we fully understand the situation, take extra caution. The academia has banned mechanical life form research for years, so the origin of these creatures is very suspect. Topics related to mechanical life forms were popular in the Spontama for a time. Some of my juniors had also thrown themselves into such research. They proposed an intriguing idea. Use our knowledge to create a new and practical life form that could help humanity conquer nature. However, no matter which modules or parts are installed, a machine is innately a construct that receives and executes commands. They can never possess self-awareness like us or other living organisms. In their pursuit to discover the differences between mechanical and biological life forms, zealous researchers performed unregulated vivisections and other absurdly cruel experiments on animals. Research on mechanical life forms was thus banned. The irony is that the researchers became even more impetuous afterward. Who knows? Maybe this subject will be unbanned in a few years. Hmm. That's a difficult question to answer. I'm interested in the topic of mechanical life, but I don't like the researchers' attitudes. It's just my personal opinion. My ancestors and the Veluka Shuna of the desert coexisted together and supported one another. The bloodline of my people was born from this symbiotic relationship. So to me, all life is important. To understand life, you must first respect it. Life is not an expendable commodity, and knowledge should not be wielded like a scepter. These are the points of contention I have with some researchers, and why I left the academia. 
by placing yourself above other life forms, what kind of results do you expect to get from researching pure life with impure intentions? Really? Well, I'm glad to hear it. Coffee? Did you prepare this for us? All right. Seeing that you're working so hard to help out, I'll give you another part. You're not planning on using it. Many of your own parts are critically degraded, and you're running low on power. All right. Suit yourself. Oh, and thanks for the coffee, but I'm about to go to sleep. Leave it with her. The night watch is yours. Stay safe. Good morning, Traveler and Paimon. Mm, quick question. Do you feel off at all? Mm, me too. The farther in we go, the closer we get to the source of the Ley Line effluence. We'll be heading out earlier today. I'll take down the tent. Is there something we can do? Extinguish our fire so we don't set the entire forest aflame. Also, Retrieve the pest-repelling devices from last night. We don't want to affect the ecosystem here. Got it! Paimon will take care of the fire! All right. Let's meet back here later. All right, it's about time to head out. As we go further in, we may encounter more berserk machines. The effects of the ley lines will also increase. If you're struggling, it would be wise to avoid conflict. Try to conserve as much energy as possible until we reach the source of the contamination. As I thought, the closer we get to the contamination source, the more mechanical monsters that appear. Born of ice and fire, a fifth of reprieve! Time for a light show! Solidify! This is order! This is long overdue! Feel the split! Stabilize! Gather! I'll uproot you! 